Um, so first, though, we're going to uh, approach the book uh, by finding out some things about ancient Greece. It may have, maybe has been a while since you've studied ancient Greece. I think in seventh grade, you guys do uh, world, uh, world history, so maybe it's been a while. Uh, I, I know it, it was for me. And so before we read, we're going to learn a little bit about ancient Greece, and we're going to learn a little bit about the text uh, before we approach it. But before we do that, um, we're going to start thinking about the Odyssey's big themes. And so everyone's going to need a copy of this. At this time, I would ask for a volunteer of a student to pass out this uh, packet. Okay, so on your packet, we're going to just look at the first page. And so on this first page, I ask a series of questions. Um, the first two are about skills. In this four-week uh, study, we're going to talk about reading strategies, how to read well. We're also going to study language usage, about how authors use words to make meaning. So you're going to answer these two questions about skill. And then also, we're going to look at theme. The Odyssey has many, many themes, but I'm telling you right now that these are four themes. And so to get your mind thinking about the skills and the themes, I want you to answer each of these questions in a short sentence. It doesn't have to be long, they could even be bullet points. Um, and we're going to take uh, some time to do that. Let's take uh, 12 minutes to go through this and write some short sentences that you would be comfortable sharing with the neighbor. Okay, go! At this time, the teacher gives uh, approximately uh, 10 more minutes for students to finish writing short sentences about these themes. Okay, go ahead and wrap up your last sentence. Uh, I'm going to ask for some volunteers uh, for what you guys wrote. Um, let's start with the first question. When you're reading something confusing, what are some strategies you use to try and make sense of it? Can I get a volunteer? Excellent. What are your thoughts? Uh, I reread, like I'll reread the sentence or the paragraph. Yeah. Reading, reading multiple times. That's a great strategy. Okay, um, let's go on to the next one. Uh, language usage, agree or disagree. In every word, there's a world. Okay, uh, the teacher proceeds to ask for volunteers on each one of these. He may ask for one or two volunteers for each. Uh, the teacher doesn't make a ton of moves to uh, have students elaborate on these a lot. This is an advanced organizer for students to begin thinking about uh, these topics. All right, wonderful. So uh, as we move through the book, um, I want you to keep this page. You're going to keep it under assignments, your assignments tab. And we're going to be looking for themes of loyalty, hospitality, heroism, and then war slash domesticity, uh, domesticity being the home. And so you can use these uh, to look at what themes are occurring in the book that you're reading. Uh, there are other themes, of course, and you might come up with some, and we might even talk about some more. For now, though, uh, I want us to approach the idea of the Greek myth. I want to learn how much you guys know about Greek myth. And so let's turn to page two.
On this page, there are lots of funny names of Greek characters, Greek gods, monsters, islands in Greece. Um, which one's which, I'm not telling you. I want you to do your best to uh, identify which ones you know, and you can write a little bit about what you know of them. Uh, do not use your phones, which is always a rule anyway, but do not expect to know all of them. I think you should feel fine if you know five or six of them. It's great. You can think about what you've seen in movies, read in books, or learned at school. Um, so let's take uh, no more than six minutes to go through this and identify ones you know. Also, do this by yourself. No helping each other. You don't need to help each other because I'm not expecting you to know them all. Okay, at this time, uh, the teacher circulates and uh, assesses basic student knowledge to see if there are any outliers who know them all or whether there's outliers on the other end who don't know any. Okay, excellent. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys to pause. Um, you don't have to share them with the neighbor uh, because as we read the Odyssey, we're going to be talking more about uh, these characters, uh, some more and others less. Also, you're going to have a chance to read a little bit more uh, about ancient Greece uh, for homework. We can start on the homework now. Um, your homework for today are some readings from a history textbook that you will read some more next year in 10th grade. It's uh, called the Holt Textbook, and you'll be reading a few paragraphs from this about life in ancient Greece and Greek myth. And so as you're reading, you're going to come across some of these names, and feel free to, when you find a name, you can add that name to this list. Um, there's also, so you'll read this, you will answer on page three in your packet, you're going to answer these two questions based on your reading. Uh, the questions require you to infer things. What does it mean to infer? I would ask for volunteers and have animation pause on this. Um, so can I get a volunteer? Well, sort of it. Can I get another volunteer? Okay, not quite. We need some, some reminders on what an inference is. That's okay, I have to remind myself all the time. Uh, to infer something, this is the definition we're gonna go with. To infer is an informed assumption. Um, inferential statements include, from the text, one can infer that, or one can assume that. It's an educated uh, guess based on what you're reading. Okay, so this homework on your packet will make you do that. Uh, in addition to inferring, you're also going to look at this map that shows you just a teeny bit about ancient Greece and a little bit about um, where some of the events are in the book. Um, so I'm going to pass out your readings. You have them for homework, and they are due tomorrow at the beginning of class. Uh, good luck on your reading, and tomorrow we'll hand out the Odyssey and get into the text. Good luck. Have a nice day. <laughs> It's good for you. All right. Uh, at this time, if there's any time left in the class period, which there probably won't be, uh, students can begin uh, reading the text that's due tomorrow, which consists of about three to four paragraphs. And that'll be the end of the day. <laughs>